Hi, I'm Lai Kong, and today I'm going to explore some of the features of this uh, Kawai MP11 SE. I'm going to be split in two sections. The first section, I'm going to talk about some of the cool features that comes with this MP11 SE as a stage piano. And the second section will be just as a controller function as in Kawai VPC1. But what are the advantages and you know the extra functions that this keyboard, this controller has over VPC1. So here we go. Kawai MP11 SE is firstly professional stage digital piano whereby you get a lot of uh, sound, mainly of all the piano sounds you can see over here. Okay, so as I've already mentioned, MPL, MP11 SE uh, Kawai actually comes with pretty good internal sounds. You know, piano, electric piano, strings, pads, bass, and then some of the automatic rhythms that I actually uh, kind of introduced to you just now. But besides that, do you know that this is actually a pretty good MIDI controller whereby if you want to use any sound, more than uh, you know the internal sound like for example that um, I do usually because I'm a arranger and also a music producer so I actually need more variety of sounds uh, beside what you have inside this stage digital piano so what you do is actually pretty simple you actually sort of like you don't want the internal sound. You can just press the local off button over here and there you go and now actually i want to change to the sound that i'm going to play uh, through my computer okay in this case uh, it's a nuendo As you can see, this controller, the key bait itself, responds very nicely to the drumming that I just played just now. It responds pretty nice, the dynamic. So it's very important to have uh, a keyboard, a controller that actually can respond uh, very dynamically in your programming and this Kawa MP11 SE I think pretty much uh, has the at least a good benchmark of like how a good controller uh, can be and also besides that the onboard um, button the onboard uh, what you call these knobs actually functions can function as a different setting for you to control the instrument sound inside the uh, programming or you know inside any sound that I want to use. Right now I'm going to talk about what if you can use these knobs over here to actually control the sound uh, inside the uh, whatever DAW that you use, you know, whatever virtual instruments that you want to use. It's actually pretty easy. First, you actually can go to the MIDI learn. I'm sure you know in Logic or you know in Cubase or you know in in even in Logic you can actually have a MIDI learn function. So you just turn this knob, you see. Can have a different control in terms of sound, so etc. And you want to control the sound of this one. Let's say, for example, you want to assign it to these knobs. MIDI learn. See, I'm going to sustain the sound so we can hear the sound difference. Maybe have a little bit more control over the face as well.
when you do EDM or dance music, <coughs> pretty much these are all the standard stuff that you're going to use. So it's pretty cool that you can actually control volume or whatever things, different parameters can be assigned to the instrument. So this is one of the extra bonus feature that I found on this keyboard, which, you know, I think is pretty cool for what is originally intended as just a stage digital piano. So VPC-1 doesn't come with this. VPC-1 is just a piano controller, but this, this can be a pretty cool scene controller, depends on how you assign to it. So yeah, very much. And besides that, let's say for example, I want to record drum over this, you know. Okay, let me check if I already assigned it, yes. Okay, now I'm going to try to do a recording uh, of this, uh, just maybe a, a groove recording. There's a click. So what I do is I can just press the record button over here. Stop recording. There you go, it stops. So I want to play back and listen. You see, it's really been done. Just a press of a button. So this can be a good transport controller for a DAW as well, which I think is great. Yeah. So yeah. So there are a lot of features, uh, controller features, you know, like you do it externally with your DAW that are yet to be explored. Like for example, this, the, you can control up to four different channels of instrument at one go. And you can pretty much use, when you use the edit, we can transmit whatever signal that you want to use. Like for example, your SysX. Those producer will understand what I'm talking about. You can actually pretty much control any button or you know assign any button to control anything inside the DAW so this is like really really cool feature that uh, you know I find it on MP11 SE so yeah producers besides a good piano we can actually have a very good DAW controller yeah never expected that nice So, summary, I'm going to do a summary uh, of what this thing applies to me as a music producer and you know, music director when I'm on stage doing concert. Uh, this thing, this piece of superb piano uh, emulation keyboard actually give me confidence of uh, you know, playing nicely on stage. Uh, not only because of the sound and also because you have such a nice uh, design and setup and this is a very sturdy keyboard it's actually uh, quite heavy I think it's at 32, 32 kilogram so actually when you play no matter how hard you press it and things like that you can actually confident that you know it doesn't shake very easily it still feels like you know it's very stable on stage and things like that and because of the multiple sounds that you can actually recall on the spot like for example with strings and piano and things like that you can actually pretty much let's say for example you you just want to sketch something more than just a piano sound oh sorry you see you can actually explore a lot of different ideas. So it's 
I would say this is like, you know, it can be a very uh, useful tool as like if you are a painting artist, right? You can have a lot of different palettes, different sort of tools for you to help to color your overall picture nicely as this in music, it has actually a lot of different tools. Maybe originally not intended uh, to be designed in it uh, this way, but as a producer, you can actually sort of like creatively how you want to apply it to uh, your concert, your music, or even your programming and things like that. So yeah, I highly recommend this keyboard. So if you feel like you want to have a good piano sound, and a great action and a sturdy keyboard that looks nice you know i think this looks really nice and it has a good presence i think kawa mp11se i would recommend it highly yeah see you bye